Welcome back to another edition of Tuesday Morning Training with Coach Corn. We are currently reviewing the book, Monday Morning Choices by David Cottrell, and we're taking each chapter each week and just learning how to apply it to your business. So the first chapter that we covered was the no victim choice. How are you guys doing on not being a victim? Are you able to get through the whole week without blaming somebody else for everything that's happening to you? Have you made the choice to be the no victim? I hope you have. I hope you're applying the book. And sometimes you have to reread these chapters over and over a couple times to just keep putting it in front of you. So feel free to subscribe to the video and review these videos every so often to get that back in there. So in a couple of weeks, you might have to watch the No Victim chapter over again if you find yourself blaming others or choosing not to be, or choosing to be a victim, I should say. So I hope you'll take this stuff and really jump in. It's five-minute videos every week. I hope you enjoy them. And feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me as well at coachcorn at sbcglobal.net. And we'll be happy to answer those questions on the internet. Thanks for tuning in to Tuesday Morning Training with Coach Corn. So here we go, a Monday Morning Choices with David Cottrell. And we are now on the Monday morning choice number two, the commitment choice. Be passionate enough to succeed. So in the chapter they talk about the first thing is the, the exercise is a great example of making a choice. You choose to exercise and you get ready for your program. You get it all set up. You probably get a gym membership. Um, you get your brand new tennis shoes. You get all psyched. First day goes great. You get out there. You work out. You're getting out of pumping iron, getting things going second day comes around and you want to sleep in a little bit but you pull yourself drag yourself out of bed and you finally make it there third day you get caught at work um, it's busy you don't make it to your workout fourth day you got a dinner appointment so you definitely don't make it to your workout that night by then you've already missed a couple of days so you're like nah I'll just start again on Monday exercise is a perfect example of how we can get pulled off track and not be committed but the thing is, commitment requires passion. Commitment isn't just checking off things on your checklist. It's actually being passionate about what you're committed to. It's a choice. It's an attitude. And in the book it says, it is believing enough to stay on course, to stay on track and be committed to that. But so why, why so often do we not hit our goals? It's probably because you were not passionate about it. You were interested in it, but you weren't committed to it. And you probably weren't just passionate about that goal happening. So commitment begins with written goals. Not only do you need to envision your goals, but you also need to put them in writing so you can start to see physically those goals coming to life. So number one, mentally see it. Number two, physically write it down. It has to be written in your handwriting. So are you committed? Are you passionate about a particular goal? The book says write it down. I'll give you a perfect example. I had a broker in real estate once that made me set a goal. And she made me put them in writing so that she had them in her file. The following year, we were actually reviewing or planning for my next year's goals. She pulled my goal sheet out that she made me write down, and look, we went over our sheet, and there were about 10 things on that sheet. One of them was to take my kids to Disneyland, and that November prior to that meeting, I had taken my kids to Disneyland. I didn't even realize I was hitting my goal, and I got to tell you guys, I had no idea when I set that goal and put it in writing how I was going to be able to afford to take my children to Disneyland. That was many, many years ago when we were just closing like two houses a month. And there wasn't enough income to really plan that big of a vacation, but it happened. Another great example in the book, they talk about uh, the great Gedzoni, and it was a magician or a, or a guy that walked a tightrope over Niagara Falls. Did you hear about that? 
He walks all the way across Niagara Falls and gets over to the other side. And he has a fan, really excited. Everybody's cheering him on. And he comes up and he pulls up a wheelbarrow and says, now go back with the wheelbarrow. I know you can do it. And Gazzoni went right up to him and he said, do you honestly believe I can do it? And the guy said, oh, yes, you can definitely do it. I believe. And Gazzoni said, get in. Let's go. Well, that's commitment. It, was that fan really that committed? Did he really believe that? Those are the things you need to look at. You know, most people don't have a clue at how powerful they really are. In fact, don't let the fear of failure cause you to fail. However, you have to make the choice to commit passionately to your goals. So, what is passionate commitment? In the story talked about was Julie Moss, a 23-year-old who was in her first triathlon. I don't know if many of you remember seeing it back in, I think it was 82, that she crawled across the finish line. Uh, she was just body beaten, and she had envisioned and was committed to seeing herself cross that finish line and waving to all the fans. And she was so committed that she made it only several seconds, like, I don't know, 29 seconds behind first place. So, what do people who choose passionate commitment do? Well, in the book on page 28, it talks about they do what they say they'll do because they're committed to it. Uh, like Julie Moss, they believe so strongly in their goal and they can envision the, the finish line that they are committed and passionate about it. They write and verbalize their commitments. But here's the important thing. When you put your goals into writing, you need to get busy, put the plan together, and do the things it takes to get there. They're realistic. They don't overpromise. They don't underdeliver. They set realistic goals, and they invest in achieving those goals. They do whatever it takes to make that happen. When they commit, they invest. And committed people don't beat themselves up when they fall short of those goals. In fact, they learn from those shortcomings and make it better the next time around. Committed people, they don't understand the term fail. In fact, they learn from that mistake. And they have, when you commit to something so passionately, you will have an impact on others' lives. So, do you possess any of these attributes? Of course you do. We all have dreams. We all have goals. We all want to get further in life, farther down the road of life, get farther along, higher up in our jobs, uh, better lives for our family, spend more time with our family. We all have dreams and goals. The difference between those who achieve those goals and those who set them aside is commitment, passionate commitment. So here's the three things that you can do to make the commitment choice. First of all, stay the course, no matter what. Once you commit to something and you're passionate about it, stay the course. Don't give up too early. Just keep moving forward. Number two, on page 30, surround yourself with other people who are as passionate and committed as you are. And clarify your commitment. Put your goals into writing and see your goals so you can figure out what your game plan is and track how you're doing. Once again, congratulations on making the choice to tune in to Tuesday Training with Coach Korn as we cover Monday Morning Choices with David Cottrell. We've talked about Chapter 2, Commitment, and we've talked about the No Victim Choice. So I hope that you are committed and passionate about your goals, and this week you will make the choice to write your goals down and be committed to them and be passionate about them. Be sure to visit www.coachcorn.com and you can register to subscribe not only to the videos but to the homework that comes along with it. Questions, things you can do to keep this material in front of you so that you can continue to make the choice every week to help your business and your life get better. Congratulations for tuning in to Tuesday Trading with Coach Corn, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Hey, this is Coach Corn here. I just wanted to say one quick special thank you to my Monday Morning Choices Book Club at the Keller Williams Eastland Partners Real Estate Office in Greater Kansas City, where we take a chapter every Monday morning at 9 a.m. and discuss the materials. 
That's how I bring you Tuesday Trainings, where we are covering Monday Morning Choices with David Cottrell. Thanks, guys.